Well, it's hard to believe, but summer ends on Friday. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The end of meteorological summer, the warmest three months out of the year. That didn't help at all. Sorry, sorry. I know it feels like summer only just got started, but when you look back on summer 2018, we really got spoiled with a lot of warmth and a lot of dry days. Let's look back at the summer that was and look ahead to what's to come with meteorological fall in this week's episode of Heather's Weather Wise. Let's start with the idea of meteorological summer and why we even have it when we already have what we call astronomical summer. Meteorological summer runs through June 1st all the way through August 31st, whereas astronomical summer of course runs through late June through late September. Those astronomical dates are based on Earth's tilt and where the sun's most direct rays are hitting the Earth. During the equinoxes, the sun passes right over the equator. During the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere, the sun is over the Tropic of Cancer at 23.5 degrees north latitude. It's over the Tropic of Capricorn at 23.5 degrees south in the winter. By the way, did you know that on the summer solstice, the sun is actually 3 million miles farther from Earth than it is in the winter? Yeah. It's not the Earth's position relative to the sun that determines our seasons, but rather the Earth's tilt. But just because we get our most direct sun rays in late June, that doesn't mean that's when our hottest time of the year occurs. And that's where we bring in meteorological seasons, because it takes a little bit of time for the atmosphere to significantly heat up and then cool back down. Let's start with this past June. On the whole, it was pretty typical by the monthly averages, about a degree warmer than normal and a little drier than average. Only four days out of 30 were cloudy. That was the best part. We cranked the heat up in July though. The month wound up 3.3 degrees above normal. Now, while that may not sound like a lot, that was hot enough for the ninth warmest July overall. Remember the 4th of July? We set a record for the date at 93 degrees. July followed the June tune with just over three overcast days and well below average rainfall. We even started to develop a little bit of a drought. And of course, there's still a couple days left in August, so we can't totally close the book yet. But the month definitely started off warm and dry. Then we kind of made up for it in the precipitation department a little bit over the last couple of weeks. But of course, we're finishing the month off very warm as well, and it could very well end up being a top 10 warmest August by the time we get to the day on Friday. But of course, September starts in just a couple of days, and gasp, so does back to school. This is gonna be great! There are some signs that we may have more of an autumn this year compared to last year. Remember last year when we hit 90 degrees three times in Buffalo in September? Don't close up the pools just yet, but for you hashtag PSL lovers, uh, your frosty fall mornings may be coming a little bit sooner this year compared to last. As for our winter forecast, we'll start looking at that here in the next couple of months. Get a chill just thinking about it, huh? So keep the warm vibes going until I see you next week for another edition of Heather's Weather Wise. But until then, remember, it's good to be a geek.